Right, so today guys, I'm going to show you how to cut a mortise key. Now there are two styles of mortise key. You have one with a collar, and one without collar. Now before you start cutting the mortise key, there are a couple of things you need to keep in mind. So, first of all, you need to make sure that the, the tip looks pretty much the same as your original. Like so. Then second of all, you need to check to make sure it's the right gauge. So check your mortise key first. So this one's a six and a half gauge. Once you've got you found your blank, just check that the same again. So that's six and a half blank as well. So when you're cutting a key, where a mortise key with the with the collar, always make sure when you're inserting it into the machine, you're pushing it up right up to the collar. If you can see that. And then clamp it down. And then do exactly the same with your blank in the bottom clamp. If you're doing it with a, a mortise key without a collar, then you always do it by tip. So clamp your original into the, into the clamp, push it up against the tracer, and then insert your blank, and then they should, they'll be in the right spot. So we'll take this out for now. So I'm gonna show you how to cut a mortise key. So, like I said before, insert this, I'm doing one with a collar. So insert the key right up to the collar, clamp down. Once you've done that, then you have to put your blank into the clamp, again, with the collar right up to the edge, and clamp that in. Like so, <clears throat> like so. So now, how to cut mortise keys, instead of, with, instead of uh, going looking at the tracer, what you're doing is you're going f over the bla the the blank. So instead of looking at the tracer, you're looking at the blank. So I'll show I'll show you. So I'm not looking at the, I'm not looking at the tracer. I'm just looking at the blank. So all you gotta do is just go down. So with a mortise key, you're always following the blank and just cutting bits, bit by bit off. Once you've done that, you just turn the machine back on and just go through all of your cuts, making sure that they're flat. Like so. Then once you've done that, take both blanks out. <coughs> both keys, just to say sorry. And just check them against each other. Make sure they're okay. To me, that looks all right. And all you gotta do, is just give it a brush. Like so. And that's how you cut a mortise key. Best thing, to, best thing is, if the customer's got the lock with them, it's a lot easier because you can test the lock as you're going along. So sometimes all you need to do is just shake, sh sharp off, get rid of all the edges, because um, that, could, that could cause it from stop working. So that's how you cut a mortise key. Thank you.